Hey there, and thanks for watching my video. So today we are in Creative Sim with the cast of the Elimination Challenge Season 9, and I'm going to be going over the characters in more detail in this video. I'm going to be showcasing all their outfits, the before and after, what they looked like when they were submitted, and what they look like now, and also their likes and dislikes. Each of these sims is so detailed compared to all the other series I've done, so I really wanted to take the time to go in depth with each and every single one. And once we finish that, I'm actually going to give you a full house tour of the Elimination Challenge Season 9 mansion and talk about how I designed each and every single room. So this is kind of like an old school stew video. This is usually how I started each season and I haven't done it in a few years, but I definitely want to get back into it because it's fun and I like talking about my thought process and sharing it all with you. So if you're looking for episode two of the series and just want to know what happens, because I know I left you on a cliffhanger, then you don't have to watch this video, but if you want to know more about these sims, see their outfits, watch their transformation, and see how I made characters from sims, then this video is for you. So we're going to start with Felicia. Now Felicia has an entire family, so I'm going to go grab them from the gallery. Felicia and her parents were originally submitted by Cristiano202, and this is what they looked like before I did their makeover. I don't want to pull them into cast because they won't look anything like this because I don't have a lot of this custom content, but you can see what the original creator had in mind. Also, side note, if you want your sims featured in any one of my series or videos, upload them to the gallery with the hashtag StuGaming, just like this one here. So this is Felicia's mother, Giselle, her father, Chase, and I played with genetics and gave her three other siblings. So she has a brother, Dion, a sister, Kaylee, and another brother who's an infant guy. And they are all featured in one of my videos, so you can go check them out as well. I absolutely adore Felicia's family, and we're going to be seeing a lot of them on my channel. In fact, I have spin-offs planned for most of the Sims in this series, so be sure to check them out. Anyway, back to Felicia. So with Felicia, I really wanted her style to be playful, youthful, and preppy. You know, she definitely is a girly girl, and she's a trendsetter. She wants to be a trendy superstar, so I needed to make sure that her pieces were very detail-oriented and creative. So with Felicia, this is her everyday outfit. For her formal, it's not that formal. If we we're talking about prom, she would definitely do this up a little bit more, but this is just more for like summertime formal outfit. And honestly, I just love the socks and I just thought it looked really good on her. Then we have her athletic wear, her sleepwear, which I'm obsessed with. This hair, I just think it really suited her and I love the pink bow in it. I don't know, I just, I just, I can't get enough of that sleepwear. This is her party outfit, which I freaking am obsessed with and will never see it, which is so depressing because of the stupid mechanics in the game. I wish they, I just don't even like party. I wish party was not even a thing because I just love these outfits and I never will see them. But this is her party outfit. Then we have swimwear. This is her hot outfit but she also has a second hot outfit. So this one is not one that I would picture for Felicia often, but again, she's a trendy superstar, so I feel like she wanted some variety in her type of outfits there. And then we have her cold weather. So her cold weather came with this jacket and I try to make it work because I like to keep some things from the original creator as well. So she was submitted as a young adult, so I did age her down to a teen and gave her the drama llama aspiration, which makes her relatable, which is very cute. Now for her likes and dislikes. So she likes dancing, fitness and photography, hates fishing, robotics and video gaming. Conversation topics. She doesn't like complaining, deep thoughts or pranks, but she likes flirtation, gossip and compliments. She likes egotistical sims and high energy sims and does not like homebody and pessimistic sims. For her attraction, She's attracted to career-minded and wealthy sims, and she doesn't like slackers or broke sims. She doesn't like ambitious or messy sims, but loves ambitious and clean sims. And lastly, she likes flirting. So if people are flirting with her, it's probably a good news story. Now for Agnes Crumplebottom, I'm not going to go into depth because I didn't do anything because she's already perfect. So I did no edits, not even a skin detail because I wanted to keep her true to her character, but I am going to go over her likes and dislikes. So she likes baking, cross-stitching, gardening, 
and doesn't like singing, video games, and comedy. <laughs> she has no sense of humor, this one. She likes the color gray. She dislikes affection, flirting, and jokes, but she likes complaints, deep thoughts, and stories. She likes family-motivated and hardworking sims, and dislikes funny sims and rascals. No wonder she doesn't like Kaden. As far as her attraction, she's attracted to career-minded and highly skilled individuals. And she doesn't like performers or slackers. And her romance style is gift giving. She's all about those gifts. She's like, show me the money, Stewie. Show me the money. Next, we have Dolce. So Dolce is transgender. And I actually did a full edit of her live on my live channel, which I will link in the description below. So if you want to see that, you can. In fact, a lot of these Sims I edited live. So I will definitely link some of those videos as well as the channel below. Now, Dolce has the aspiration to be a painter extraordinaire, which unlocks the muser trait. I think she was originally submitted as a writer, but after her colorful glow up, I just really wanted to make her a painter. So she was originally submitted by Lucy Hanna 85 and this is her before her Stu Gaming glow up. So the original creator wrote, Dolce means sweet in Spanish, and that's exactly what she is. If a little scatterbrained and directionless, she's not a competitor by nature, but loves connecting and charming people. So who knows? She mostly wants to prove to her folks she's worth something, even if she hasn't quite figured out the path in her life yet. Dolce is transgender and uses she, her pronouns. Yeah, so she originally had the musical genius aspiration, but I switched it to artistic. So this is Dolce's everyday outfit. Her formal, which again, I'm just so obsessed with this formal. I, I love it. She looks incredible. I don't even have words for it. Athletic. I mean, I think every single outfit that Dolce has is just pretty much spectacular. She's very colorful, very bright, and I love her slogan, be yourself. Sleepwear. Okay, maybe this is the only one I'm not that crazed about, but it's still good. Then we have Party, which we'll never see, which is such an unfortunate thing, but I mean, the makeup is fabulous, the hat's fabulous, everything about this is just fabulous. Swimwear. She has two because she has one that has these star glasses, and the hat on the previous outfit and the star glasses were with the original sim design, so I kept those. Her hot outfit, and finally, her cold outfit. As far as Dolce's likes and dislikes, so she likes comedy, knitting, and painting, dislikes bowling, handiness, and programming. She likes compliments, discussing hobbies and jokes, and dislikes arguments, deception, and deep thought. She doesn't like argumentative or pessimistic sims and likes funny and idealist sims. When it comes to turn on and turn offs, she loves sims that are all about arts and crafts and have a good sense of humor, and dislikes highly skilled and slacker people. Now, highly skilled, you might be like, what? Well, the thing is, she dislikes people that value skill over creativity, you know? So anyone that's like, oh, well, you're not level 10 of that, like, she's like, I'm not into that. She likes sims who are funny and spirited and dislikes pessimistic and messy sims. And she loves affection. So if you're affectionate, that's the key to her heart. Next, we have G. So G does not have a before image because G was not submitted on the gallery. I didn't create her. I used the genetics tool within The Sims 4 to create her from another Sim who I will show you. So this is Alex. So Alex was actually in season four of The Sims Big Brother, submitted by Gaming Desu. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Mel on the Discord server. And I am obsessed with Alex. I've given her a spinoff of her own. She has her own apartment. She literally in my save as a permanent Sim. I can't play without Alex. And she's gonna be in more videos coming up because again, Alex is one of my favorite Sims. And because of that, I created her parents because she needed a backstory. So I made her parents, they were featured in a video. And recently I gave her parents a makeover because they needed one. But I will say that G really started to stand out for me when I gave her the skin overlay that Alex had because then I noticed that they actually looked a lot alike. And that was when I was like, oh my God, this is really her mom. Her and Alex have a very strained relationship. You know, they're not on the best of terms because they are very different and they have very different ways of looking at the world. Alex is creative just like Dolce. She is a painter just like Dolce. 
And just like Dolce, she values creativity over intellect. And that's why I'm so excited that Dolce and G are in this together because I know Dolce is going to remind G of her daughter Alex, who she has a troubled relationship with. G's thing is she's just all about perfection. She was brought up that she had to get straight A's, 100%, like not even 99%, straight A's, 100% in every class. She had to go to the best schools, she had to be in every club, and it was exhausting, but it made her very successful. And she's associated her happiness in life with that wealth that she's gotten in material things. Like she's top of her career, she has a house, she has a mansion, she has a husband who's also the top of his career, you know? So she wanted all of that for Alex, and unfortunately, Alex is not like that at all. Alex is like, no. I am nothing like you. I don't want this life. I want to be an artist. And that created a lot of tension for her and G. So G's having a hard time with it. But when it comes to her fashion look, I wanted her to be well put together. I wanted her to look very presentable. I wanted her to look like she has done up every single outfit and there's not a single hair out of place. Now, this is her formal outfit. Very simple, elegant, but again, perfect. This is her athletic wear. So again, still wearing the earrings <laughs> and her nail polish is done, her makeup is done, despite the fact this is athletic. Her sleepwear, which looks fabulous. Her party outfit, again, perfection. Her swimwear with the heels and the bracelet and the pearls, because you know, you just need those pearls when you're swimming. Summer outfit, which is her most relaxed outfit, but still, I mean, again, not a hair out of place. And then her cold outfit, which is one I've used many times before, but I just got really lazy by this point. <laughs> so for G, she likes fitness, media production, and research and debate, and dislikes baking, knitting, and painting, which is another stab in the heart because her daughter is an artist. She likes compliments, deep thoughts, and discussing interests, and dislikes potty humor, silly behavior, and small talk. She likes cerebral, hardworking sims, and doesn't like emotional decision makers like her daughter, and funny sims like her daughter. She's attracted to career-minded and wealthy sims, and dislikes slackers and people who are broke. The characteristics she values most are ambitious and hardworking, and is very turned off by emotional decision makers and messy sims. Her preferred romance style is gift-giving. She's all about those gifts, just like Agnes. Moving along to Phoenix Meadow. So Updog actually uploaded Katie to the gallery and I did a full transformation on my other channel for her. But when I was stalking his uploads, I actually came across Phoenix who wasn't uploaded for my series, but I just was really attracted to her look. I thought, ooh, she looks really interesting. I wanna kind of use her or at least play around with her and cast. So I gave her a full makeover. So her everyday one pretty much looks exactly the same, but I did redo all of her other outfits. Now, Phoenix Meadow is a blogger, like I said, or a video logger, I should say. And she's all about that health and wellness lifestyle. I wanted her outfits to showcase that healthy, relaxed wellness vibe. So here is her everyday. Then we have her formal, again, very nature inspired her athletic wear, so again, floral. Sleep wear, very comfortable, hair is done up, very pretty. Party outfit, which we'll never see. Swim wear, again, floral and so cute, it's just so cute. Then we have her hot outfit one, her hot outfit two is just with the glasses, and finally, her cold weather outfit. Now for Phoenix, she likes cooking, gardening, and wellness. And she dislikes handiness, mischief, and mixology. She's like, no, I'm not about that drink. Okay, I'm all about my health, Stu. She likes deep thoughts, discussing interests and stories, and dislikes complaints, gossip, and pranks. She likes sims who are idealists and nature enthusiasts, and doesn't like pessimistic and rascals. She loves when sims are into the culinary arts and health and sports, and dislikes sims that are about drinking and slacking. And her romance style is affection. So, be a little bit affectionate, and I'll open her right up. Oh wow, <laughs> that sounded wrong. 
Oops. Here we have Vanessa Khan, our little islander, and she is obsessed with all things extreme sports. It's just too bad they actually don't have surfing in The Sims because she would totally be surfing. So for her, I tried to pull her look as youthful surfer, kind of got the ideas from the movie Soul Surfer. I'm obsessed with that film. It's one of the best ones in my opinion, but I wanted to give her some color, some florals, and light pinks, greens, yellow, stuff like that. So this is Vanessa. This is her every day. Then we have her formal, looking so good. The flower in her hair was actually inspired by this picture, which is the original way the Sim looked when I saw her in the gallery. And once again, I kind of did a little bit of a cheat when it came to casting because Hotson had actually uploaded a ton of other Sims for my series using the Stu Gaming hashtag. I stalked his player bio as well, found Vanessa there, and I was obsessed immediately. So I dragged her right in to create a Sim and get gave her that makeover and now she's on the show. So here's her athletic, which is funny because her top matches Felicia's, but you know, it kind of works with the story because Felicia wants to be a Simstagram influencer anyway. So it's good. Her look is getting out there. Her sleepwear, very comfortable, again, very floral, like greens, pinks. This is her party outfit, which we'll never see, but I wanted to give her a swimming suit party outfit because I just figure she's going to the party at the beach all the time. She'll be able to take off her jean skirt and boom, she can surf. This is her swimwear outfit. Very nice indeed. This is her hot outfit. And last but not least, her cold outfit, which is one of my favorite cold outfits I've done, to be honest with you but we won't see it that often. Now for Vanessa, she likes fitness, rock climbing, skiing, and snowboarding. So I just put all the extreme sports in there and she just likes the pipe organ, knitting, and baking. She loves deep thought, flirtation, and discussing her hobbies, which are very important to her. And she doesn't like complaining, gossip, and small talk. She got no time for that. She loves high energy and spirited sims and dislikes homebodies and pessimistic sims. She's very attracted to other sims who also like health and sports and have a good sense of humor. And she's very turned off by taking sims and academics. So once you get to know Corbin girl, you know you're not gonna be into that. For romance style, she likes physical intimacy, you know? She's all about that touch. So uh, give the girl a massage and you might massage your way right into her heart. Yeah, okay, that was lame. Moving on to the fellas, we're gonna start with Santiago. So Santiago was originally submitted by Habiki Himiko and Santiago was also a young adult. So I did totally change him to a teen, but I just got teen vibes from him. I did do a full makeover of him on my other live channel as well, but I changed his look even more off camera, especially after I landed on this hair, which by the way, is my favorite hair for him. Like I cannot believe how good this hair looks on him. I can't even imagine another Sim sporting this hair because he just does it so damn well. You do buddy, you do. With Santiago, he's socially awkward and he's a geek, right? He's goal-oriented, like he wants to do the best he can in school, but I wanted to give him a look of where he's trying to dress like trendy, but he's just failing at every opportunity. So that was my idea for him. So this is his formal outfit, which is actually pretty good. But again, people are gonna be like, dude, it just doesn't look good on you <laughs> because they're just mean, poor little guy. This is his athletic, so I love his socks. I love his shirt. I love his headband. Everything about this outfit just makes me want to cuddle. His sleepwear is so funny to me because this is like an old man's outfit, yet he's a teenager <laughs> and he's doing it. But you know what though, he's just cool. Then we have his party outfit. And again, it's fabulous. He's just fabulous. Swimwear. Pretty simple, he wanted to keep this one simple, he just thought trunks, you can't go wrong with trunks, right? And you're right, you can't. His hot outfit, so he's definitely embracing his inner geek with this shirt and the hat, he's like, dude, I'm not getting sunburned. And that's all there is to it. So while he is trying to dress a little bit cooler, he's not about to get a sunburn. And to be honest, that's sensible, dude. Good for you. 
And finally, we have his cold outfit, which again, he rocks it so well. Santiago, you are so cool. As far as his likes and dislikes, he dislikes DJ mixing, dancing, and fitness. He likes programming, research, and debate, and writing. He loves talking about deep thoughts, discussing his interests, and telling stories, and dislikes flirtation, gossip, and jokes. He dislikes flirtation because he doesn't know what to do with himself. He dislikes gossip because he thinks people are always gossiping about him. And he dislikes jokes because he thinks that people are making fun of him, which is very sad. He likes sims that are cerebral and idealists, and he dislikes high energy sims who are rascals. Those jocks on the football team were never nice to Santiago, and he does not forget. As far as attraction, he is turned on by academics and creative sims, and he dislikes career-minded and slackers. He's turned off by arguments, he's turned off by spiritedness, and he is attracted to cerebral and idealist characteristics. For romance style, he likes a good gift. He's never really gotten any, so, uh, a gift would go a long way with him. Yes, it would. So Corvin is my adult sim, and I did age him up, so let me show you the original. So this is the original Corvin that was submitted by Reality Porter. He is a young adult here, but of course, like I mentioned, I aged him up, and I gave him a skin overlay, but I did not change anything else, so I know he looks very different, but it's just the skin overlay and like the facial hair and stuff, yeah. Like, I did not change anything else. Like, he just looks very different though, but I think he looks so good. What attracted me to the Sim from the gallery was the actual open shirt and outfit. So I wanted to keep his everyday one pretty much the same, but I changed all of his other outfits. Now, Corbin, as I mentioned on the show, is a non-committal romancer. Okay, so if you're in this guy's crosshairs, you're in trouble. So Vanessa, watch the heck out. But he's a big kid at heart. He doesn't grow up. He's just always gonna be that guy that is consistently playing video games and romancing the teenager down the street. I mean, young adult down the street. Sorry, Corbin, I don't wanna get you in trouble on TV. But romancing the young adult down the street, even when he's an elder. Okay, this is what he's gonna be like. So is he gonna grow up? Highly doubt it. But I wanted his look to be that of a guy who's kind of carefree, like just turning it on for the ladies. And I hope I nailed it but you can let me know in the comments, yeah? So this is his everyday, as I mentioned. Here we have his formal, so open shirt. His tie is undone. He's getting ready for that woohoo. He don't wanna waste time. He's gonna rip it off of him and just jump under those bed sheets because he's got some work to do. This is his athletic. You know, he wants to show off his chest. He's very proud of his muscles. He works hard for him. Good for you, dude. His sleepwear says it all. He's like, let's just cut to the chase, okay? Eggplant. His party outfit, I went for like a boho, sandy beach vibe, and it's so funny because I'm not trying to say that I dress like him, but I literally have this exact outfit. Exact outfit, except the watch. I don't wear watches. So I literally wore this exact outfit to a party just on Saturday. So yeah, I love this outfit. He looks good in it. Hopefully I wore it better. For swimwear, he wants to give a show, so he just wears the Speedo. Again, for his summer outfit, I wanted to go with this boho, beachy, sandy vibe, so beige, pinks, cute, very cuddly, very sexy. So, you know, no wonder he's doing some stuff to the girls and the guys. And here we have his cold outfit. So again, I don't put a lot of effort into this one. For his likes and dislikes, he likes comedy, fitness, and romance. He dislikes writing, cross-stitching, and fishing. He loves talking about flirtation, jokes, and small talk. And he dislikes deep thought, deception, and complaints. He dislikes cerebral sims and pessimistic sims, but loves funny sims and spirited sims. He's attracted to sims who are interpersonal and performers. And he dislikes people who are self-employed and academic. Okay, it's just way too much effort. Come on. He loves high energy spirited characteristics and dislikes family motivated and argumentative sims. I mean, let's be real. Family motivated, they're just trying to get a baby from him. And he's like, no dude, I only wear protection. For romance style, he's all about that flirt. He'll flirt with anything, anyone really. So beware, beware. So this is Tyson's original look from Unscripted. And again, I did a cheeky stalk of Unscripted's player bio, 
and I found this guy and I gave him a glow up. This was the sim originally submitted by Unscripted, but I needed more male sims and when I found Tyson, I was in love. So Tyson is probably the sim I gave the biggest personality change to, but I love the way he is. Like, he's just amazing. So this is his formal outfit. Again, I'm obsessed with this outfit. I can't even get over it. He's just one of those Sims that's just not afraid to be out there. And I just think that we need more Sims like this. Then this is his athletic wear and he has three variations because that's just who he is. He wants options. His sleepwear is probably the most simple outfit that he has. Then he has his party. Can't forget the sparkle party outfit. His swimwear. He has hot outfit number one. Hot outfit number two. And then he has his cold outfit. So his cold outfit might actually be one of my favorites because it's still so on trend with all of his other outfits and it just goes really well with him. So for Tyson, he likes handiness, mischief, programming, and video games and hates writing, gardening, and fitness. Ew. He loves talking about deception, potty humor, and pranks, and can't stand affection, gossip, and deep thoughts. He likes sims that are argumentative and rascals, and he dislikes cerebral and family-motivated sims. He's turned on by sims who are self-employed and slackers, and turned off by highly skilled or career-minded sims. The sim characteristics he's most attracted to are spirited and argumentative, and most unattracted to are homebody and optimistic. For romance styles, he just likes the woohoo. Okay, let's cut to the chase. Let's get under the sheets. Yes, let's go. Next, we have Caden Booth, our little teen. So he actually was submitted as an adult. So let me show you what that looks like. So here is Caden's original look as an adult. So this is after his adolescent ways. And again, I was really drawn to his outfit. So I kept his original everyday outfit the same. Obviously aging him down, I lost some traits and I completely changed his traits because I needed a Sim who was mean. Let's be real. And honestly, I love the idea of having this teen who's like a jock star in the game so I thought you know what it's good to align those traits with him just because I like that storyline and he mean he's tattooed up you know he's got the looks man he's cool he looks it anyway in my opinion so this is his everyday outfit then we have his formal and again crushing it everybody's gonna want to go to prom with you dude then we have his athletic wear if you know what n7 means then you and Kaden are super freaking cool. His sleepwear, he may be a team, but he's like, you know, I've already got the rock and bod, so I might as well showcase it. His party outfit, more relaxed, chill. Like, he knows he looks good. He doesn't even need to try. His swimwear outfit, rocking that purple. Hot weather, again with the N7 dude. I mean, like, we should be friends. Can we be friends? And finally, his cool outfit. Again, I got tired by this point. For his likes and dislikes, he dislikes cross-stitching, gardening, knitting, and rocket science. He likes dancing, fitness, and mischief. He loves having arguments, telling jokes, and gossiping about the nerds at the local school. And he hates when people complain and also are overly affectionate towards him because he gets that all day and deep thoughts because he's so bored. He likes Sims who like to stir up trouble and he loves some rascals. He doesn't like people who are overly positive and family motivated. He's over that crap. He's turned on by healthy, sporty Sims and performers and turned off by people who just care about their brain and like to cook. He loves a sin that spirited and knows how to have a good time and loves a good argument here and there. You know, healthy debate. And then he hates people who are just nerds and talking about smart shit for romance. He loves a good flirt. He's open to it. Just don't get too close. Do not touch me, okay? But you can flirt with me. I'll flirt with you. That's how he thinks. Yes, it is. Then we have Samir Rafiq. So this is Samir's original look. So I gave him a longer hairdo for sure. His backstory as far as his description is still okay. Like nothing has changed in regards to this backstory, but I added a lot when it came to the type of player he is and how he deals with things socially. So I wanted to make him exotic, appealing, attractive, and um, 
tick, 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 dude. You're damn fine. You're damn fine. So this is his everyday outfit. His formal, which he wears so well. Then he has his athletic wear, and again, no shirt. Why have a shirt? Oh, he does have a shirt. Yes, he has three variations of this outfit. I forgot, my bad. Then he has his sleepwear. Now he definitely does not have a shirt on. His party outfit. His swimwear. His hot outfit. And finally, his cold outfit. So he's just looking fine. The ladies better look out, man. He's coming for them. And it's gonna be scary. For his activities, he loves dancing, fitness, mixology. And he dislikes cross-stitching, gardening, knitting, and programming. Blech. He loves a good argument, a good debate. He loves those compliments. He loves flirtation. He hates deception, complaints, and small talk. Let's not beat around the bush, y'all. Let's just get to it. Life's short. He loves romance enthusiasts and spirited sims and doesn't like pessimistic sims and also family motivated sims. He's most turned on by performers and wealthy sims and most turned off by academic career minded sims. He loves funny and spirited sims and dislikes argumentative family motivated sims. And for romance style, again, he's all about that flirtation. I'm surprised it's not the woohoo buddy, but it's not. Finally, we have Cedric Rafala, and this sim was actually not an elder, so I did age him up quite a bit, which is probably why he has the gloomy trait, because he's like, dude, what the F? My life is gone. But hey, at least now you're famous. So this is the user who originally uploaded him. This is what he looked like when he was young. He does not look like that anymore, but I think he looks better. This is Cedric. I mean, I am obsessed with his look. I'm obsessed with him. I think Cedric looks amazing. I really put a lot of effort into him because I didn't want to make an elder people just wanted to get rid of when they were watching the series. I wanted them to fall in love with this sim the way I have. So I'm very proud of how he looks on the outside, and I'm very proud of the character I've created for him on the inside, but this is his everyday outfit. We have his formal, oh my gosh, the bow tie, I just can't. We have his athletic wear. He has two variations. Both look adorable, and both are incredible. Then we have his sleepwear. He's all about that robe. He needs his robe, okay? Don't mess with the robe. His party outfit. He knows how to wear a suit and a tie. Oh yeah. His swimwear, which the, the gnomes just gets me every time. Those damn gnomes, look at them, they're so cute. His hot weather outfit, again with the polo. He just wants to be comfortable and not overheat and die. He is getting old, you know. Finally, his cold outfit. So I think he looks fabulous. And if you don't agree, you can unsubscribe. He wants to be a best-selling author. He just never accomplished much in his life because, you know, before he had a chance to live, I made him an elder. So he, he has a lot of dreams that he didn't get to chase. So uh, he's pretty gloomy, but the whole experience has made him wise. So there you go. Now for likes and dislikes, he loves gardening. He loves research and debate and writing. He dislikes mischief, fitness, and DJ mixing. All that noise, dude, it's just, I oh, can't hear a thing. He likes talking about deep thoughts, discussing interests, and sharing stories, and dislikes gossip, jokes, and small talk. He loves sims that are cerebral and family motivated, and dislikes high energy rascals. Now, Cedric is single, so romance is not off the table for him. And he likes a sim who's into the arts and interpersonal, but he doesn't like those performing slackers. He values idealist cerebral sims and dislikes spirited argumentative sims. And if you want to know the true way to his heart, just show the guy a little affection. He just wants a little affection. Do it, please. Please. He has dreams. So that is the cast of 12. Now let's do a house tour. So this is the season nine elimination challenge house. And I am so excited because I love this house. I wanted to make something where I could leverage the lighting system and tools within The Sims 4 because they are epic and they just make the house so damn cool in my opinion. So that was a very big priority for me. So let me take you through the house. 
So for me, I love complimentary colors because they really just stand out and make everything really bold. And with this house, I wanted to do a lot of color. So I love the blue and orange kitchen. Your eye just immediately goes here no matter what because it's so bold. And I love that about this kitchen. So this is, it's kind of tiny, but I think it does its job. Now for this space, <clears throat> Yeah, I tried for, I'm not even kidding, two hours to fill this space and I didn't like anything. The shape of the house is probably fundamentally flawed. I didn't think it through. I didn't like anything I was doing, so I left it blank. If you have any ideas for this space, let me know. I wanted to do like a living room area where we can kind of do like evictions or eliminations, but again, I tried so many different color schemes and I hated all of them, so. If you have any ideas, let me know. This is one room I didn't try at all in. Actually, this is a pre-made room I got from the Love Struck pack, but when I placed it, when I was doing my live stream about the review of the build items, I was obsessed with this room. So I did change a couple things, like color-wise and stuff like that, but this room was one that I loved from that preset, so I wanted to replicate it within the house, and I think it looks freaking amazing in here. So love this room, but I really can't take too much credit for this one. So for this section, one of the things that I love so much about Big Brother is the diary room. So I knew that I wanted to introduce diary room for the elimination challenge for the first time because I wanted to just do votes this way. So I wanted to make something crazy and colorful, and I thought purple would be a great color base. So this is the diary room. I'm obsessed with it, I love it. And as far as the hallway, I put the bathroom and the hallway together. And again, complimentary colors, I did purple and yellow because I knew that they would stand out. So you would really get to see the Sim walk around the bathroom. And I love it, I think it looks great. Now for this room, I thought yellow, well actually I really thought gold and black, but you know, we don't have gold in the Sims, so yellow and black, but freaking fabulous. I wanted to put some kitchen appliances elsewhere in the house because I didn't want them to only go to this area whenever they wanted to cook, so that's also why I have the uh, barbecue outside, but I'll get there in a second. So for this room, I wanted it to look a little bit funky, a little bit different, and I think I got the job done. I don't know, I love it. I think it just looks so good. It's accented well. I think the black and gold really stands out and I'm all for it. So yeah, plus plus for me. For the downstairs, it's just the room, the vault, where we'll be going to do elimination. So nothing special there. Now for the exterior, I obviously have this curved pool because we have the rounded edges now with the Love Struck pack. And I wanted to put some fitness equipment and a telescope here in case people wanted to search the stars. I also wanted to put a seating area for some outdoor meals and also a kitchen slash barbecue area with a pizza oven and a hot tub. I realized I should put a bench out here because then they can do stargazing together. There we go. Any Sims who want to stargaze together can now do it with the bench. Now for the upstairs, I wanted to do colored themes for each room. So let's start with this room. So obviously this is the green room, plants, earth. So I wanted to do very earthy tones, which is why I have the brown and the green. So in this room they can do flower arranging, they can do gardening, planting, and cross stitching because you know Agnes was in the cast so I couldn't leave cross stitching out. So I love this room. It's very earthy, natural, and I just think it looks fabulous. This is our orange and black room. So I have pumpkin carving here, but no one's used it and I doubt they will. However, this room I think looks pretty epic. I don't really know what to say. I went with black and orange. There you go. On the flip side, this room is very similar because it was on the same shape. So for this one, I wanted to do blue and yellow, but I have a skill table here with chess and also a little knitting basket, but no one's done any knitting yet, but that's okay. But yeah, I think this one looks really cool and it's very similar in style to that one, but that's what I was going for, so it's all good. This is the last room I really can't take credit for. It's very similar to a pre-made room from Love Struck, but that pack is just epic. I did add the vanity, I did add the massage table, and that's pretty much it. I think I might have changed the floor. I did, I did. I changed the floor as well, but other than that, it's pretty much identical to the Love Struck pack, but it looks fabulous, and it's pink, and it's the pink room I've been waiting for. I've always wanted a love room that was pink, and this room delivered, so thank you very much, Love Struck. You are awesome. And for purple, I kind of wanted to go similar vibe to the Love Struck room, so I added a Don't Wake the Llama, 
some cheerleading, and a nice purple bed. So this is our blue room, probably the most boring room, but yeah. So you can do some jewelry making, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just blue. Uh, so not much more to say. So for the bathrooms, I wanted them to just be white with a very dramatic color when it comes to the lighting. So I didn't really have to do too much. I just made them all pretty much identical and then changed the color of the light bulb to make that room reflect the color I wanted. And then I put the orange floor and the purple floor here because I thought that that would be the best color to uh, really make it dramatic looking when it came to being beside the room of choice. And lastly, we have the gym. And again, this gym is inspired by the Love Struck pack because I love the expansion pack items. So I just use a lot of the Love Struck items and this is what I got and I freaking love it. So yeah, that is the house. I really hope you like the house but also more importantly, The Sims. And if you are following along this series, please comment and let me know who you're rooting for, what you like, what you don't like, and also any challenge ideas you have because I'm very eager to hear them. So if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting below. And if you're new here, subscribe. I have this amazing series that I'm posting on YouTube right now and a ton more videos in the works. So you won't want to miss it. But until next time, bye for now.